Hey there everyone, welcome back. So it turns out Seth Francois isn't so innocent after all. If you didn't already know, Seth is a YouTuber that's accusing David Dobrik of abuse in a kissing prank that they pulled on him. Well, it turns out Seth ended up uploading and posting a video of Aaron that was actually of her naked he did censor it and blurred it out but the thing is is that he didn't have her consent and he still uploaded it Aaron who has a YouTube channel actually addresses it in this video here so get this other than his controversy with David Dobrik Seth himself got into one after posting revenge porn video in mid 2020 of fellow vlog squad member Aaron Gilfoy Seth claimed that those videos were monetized and did not contain any nudity but Aaron on the other hand tweeted saying that video is revenge porn, blurry or not, monetized or not. You don't get to decide because it is not your body. Yes, what I say, and it is horrible and I'm so ashamed, but it is also disgusting that you're using my trauma as a way to hold me accountable. So it's pretty disturbing and disgusting that Seth would take a video of her of her naked and upload it onto YouTube, I guess it was, and then he removed it. And it showed her that she was actually fully naked. He just censored it so you couldn't see any of the nudity. But still, it's a, it's a video taken without her consent, uploaded without her consent. The definition of a revenge porn actually states sexually suggestive images of someone, typically a former romantic partner, that are posted online or otherwise shared without the person's consent. So by the definition and law, I guess Seth could actually be held accountable for posting these online and sharing them as revenge porn because he didn't have Aaron's consent. And the crazy thing about this is that other YouTubers are actually sharing this stupid video too. Video going around of Aaron, butt ass naked, saying the N word. That's right, can you believe this? David Hamilton, some small YouTuber, posted this video called Vlog Squad Member Uses Slur, and he actually uploads and shows the video of Aaron naked. Yes, it's censored and blurred, but still, by definition, this guy could actually be sued uh, by Aaron as well for uploading this without her consent. This is just completely wrong. Watch the video multiple times for research purposes, obviously. Yeah, it just blows my mind that this guy actually found the video, watched it multiple times, Times and actually uploaded it to his YouTube channel and it's on there um, like <laughs> that is just absolutely ridiculous and stupid in my mind like how could you even do that like I understand people are saying how could you upload that kissing prank of Seth but Seth has actually up re-uploaded that video clip on his own channel trying to bring awareness so he's already given consent and has already like agreed pretty much to try to bring awareness to that on the other hand Aaron never uploaded this video she never gave consent she doesn't want anyone sharing this or anything and she even addresses this and to me that's just completely wrong and disgusting and like I can't believe this guy would actually even find it and re-upload it in his video to try to get views and clout so like yeah, also shame on Seth for doing that because like he's trying to call Aaron out for using uh, the N word in the video, which she does and she apologizes for, but she was like drunk or something like that, and it doesn't it's not an excuse, but she was naked and he still uploaded it. So I just <laughs> two wrongs don't make it right, and so Seth can be actually in a lot of trouble for this as well. And it's just crazy because then now Seth's accusing David Dobrik and Jason Ash of pulling a prank on him that was actually abuse. And by law, it also is abuse if he never gave them consent. So if Seth's going to bring all this stuff up with Jason and David and all that stuff, well, then he should really address and be held accountable as well for what he did to Aaron. <laughs> so, like, if he's going to say that they need to be held accountable, well, shouldn't he be held accountable as, as well? So, I don't know. That's just my opinion on it. So, I came across this information from all of you commenting down below. I read all of your comments. And I wasn't aware that Seth actually did this and like i said if he's gonna say that other people need to be held accountable well then he needs to be held accountable and that's just crazy so let me know your thoughts and opinions about this in the comments below please like this video click that subscribe button for more and to be entered into future giveaways when i get monetized for cash and yeah this is just just crazy what's going on with this whole david obrick uh seth and now finding out about aaron and other youtubers using the video it just it, this is just getting out of hand and I'll just keep you all updated with even more and uh, comment down below with any more uh, content that you want to see. And yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Stay safe. God bless you all. Take care and peace out.